Facilitating Global Eco Cooperatives. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 194. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is G. Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 194, December 11, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. And also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 25% of the written content for the cognition lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of cognition is now 25% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the third 25% section of the written part of the cognition lesson plan. We also completed the final 25% of the mind map for the individuality lesson plan, bringing it to 100% complete, which you see here. And we updated the icons across 40% of the education pages and updated the formatting to add a what and why section to the strategies for leadership, teaching, and communicating page. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued to reformat and add sections and anchor links to recipe pages for our transition kitchen strategy. You can see a sample of that work here on the vegan potato recipes page. We also updated the look of all the highest good food icons. Here's what they look like now, but they aren't final yet. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. The core team and Ashwini Ramesh, civil engineer and project manager, put another combined total of 15 hours into the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was more AutoCAD image creation and finishing the behind the scenes content editing for the Earthbag Municipal County Involvement and Permitting page. You can see a snapshot of this behind the scenes work here. Hannah Gibbs, web developer, also joined the team and helped us adding and formatting the text on this tropical atrium instructional image from Shadi Kennedy. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 46 of his work that focused on starting the internal home views and creating this final outdoor roof view looking southwest. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 21st week helping with the Compressed Earth Block Village Pod 4 design details. This week's focus was on testing and updating textures for the roof, roof furniture tests, elevation drawing progress, and dining room floor and ceiling texture and design tests. Aparna Tandon, architect, additionally continued her work on the Compressed Earth Block Village external elements. 
What you see here is her 10th week of work, focusing on more updates and improvements to the roundabout entry, central recreation space zone 6, and relaxation and green spaces zones 2 and 9. Jiming Chen, designer with his master's in architecture and BA in engineering, also continued helping develop the Treehouse Village Pod 7. What you see here is his eighth week of this work, focusing on final revisions to the third and fourth floor shower and toilet levels of the bathroom and shower tower, and first generation designs for the storage areas on level one and two. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued developing the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book. What you see here is week 16 of this work that continued with updates to pages 46, 47, and 48, which you can see here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued render creation for the duplicable city center. This included working on the natural pool area where we added new plants, updated the window texture, placed the initial design of the compass, and chose the best shadow position. We also added people and other details to finalize this render of the natural pool area inside the city center. Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued her work on the recycled pipe shelving for the duplicate city center library. This week's focus was adjustments to the size of all the people in the main library and creating these final three full perspective renders. Shunani, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, continued working on the city center structural engineering. This week's focus was continuing calculations for the braces and columns. And Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, continued with her 21st week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was finalizing the three primary bulbs we'll use throughout the structure. Jin Chi Feng, environmental consultant, also continued her research in helping us create an in-depth laundry and dryer machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her 14th week of behind the scenes work on this area of the project. This week's focus was continued research into residential and commercial washer efficiency and comparing the two using laundry projections for one, five, 50, 100, and 500 households. Ashwin Patil, web developer, also finished his fourth week of collaboratively working on the open source pipe furniture page. This week's focus was trying to create a new way for us to present multiple images with clickable labels. Problems making this portable device friendly means it is still a work in progress. Ram Yavudi, electrical engineer, and Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, also continued working on the electrical design specifics we'll be using to add to the Duplical City Center electrical planning and design details page. What you see here is the team's sixth week of work focusing on breaker panel research, control systems integration, beginning a wind power tutorial, and double checking the power requirements for all of our equipment. You can see snapshots of some of this work here. And Henan Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his third week of working on creating our next generation of duplicate city center section drawings. This week's focus was on the updated details of sections A through D as shown here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Yuri Vite, music composer and sound designer, completed his sixth week of helping create the music that will accompany the new OV video we are planning. What you hear in the background is version 763, two octaves higher from last week's and the newest iteration we're building off of. You can visit Yuri's SoundCloud to hear all previous versions. One community is facilitating global eco-cooperatives through open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of highest good living. Our idea is that if we can make sustainability easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And our crown jewel of making that happen, our ultimate accomplishment for doing that, is building one community, a place where people will be able to come and visit, and experience everything that we're doing and creating open source and take what they like and replicate it 
through the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and free shared blueprints, all that stuff. Or people can come and live and be a part of the creative process, the constant ongoing open sourcing and free sharing of all the foundations of sustainability, as well as an evolution of sustainability that includes emotional sustainability. So the foundations of physical sustainability that everybody's familiar with are food, energy, and housing. But we are combining this with the foundations of emotional sustainability that we've identified as high good education, fulfilled living practices, high good economics, as well as true earth stewardship. Putting these things together is an evolution of sustainability to meet that attractiveness criteria. Easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough and the idea will spread on its own. And we want to create self-replicating, spread on their own, teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs to facilitate global eco-cooperatives. Starting with one community is the beginning of the global eco-cooperatives and collaborating with anybody else that wants to use our information to create their own version of sustainability either as their own sustainable eco-community or adapting the plans to create something that would be more of an eco-retreat, which is what our model is all about. However people want to do it, if people are interested in open sourcing and free sharing, everything that they're creating like we are, then we want to work specifically with them. And if they just want to use everything that we're doing for their own use and whatever their individual needs are, that's totally fine too. That's why everything is open source and free share. But really the idea is facilitating global eco-cooperatives by working with others that are interested in facilitating global eco-cooperatives too. So to accomplish this, we've brought together a team of people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, and we're interested in anybody else who has the consciousness for the highest good of all. People that are thinking globally, people are thinking and wanting to create to the best of our ability for the best of everyone. And open source and free shared is the foundation of that. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if it sounds exciting to you, if you'd like to get involved, there is a broad diversity of ways to do that. We are also, if you'd like the easiest way to help out, on all the different social media networks, just share our information. Like this video, share our information. All those steps make a difference in us getting the word out there, spreading what it is that we're doing. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. So if you are on LinkedIn, if you're on Twitter, if you're on Pinterest, if you are on Reddit, if you are on Tumblr, if you are on about 15 other social media networks, look for us there because we probably are there. And you can link and access to all of those <clears throat> in the bottom left-hand corner of our website. This is how one community is facilitating global eco-cooperatives. Our idea is to reach that tipping point of participation so that we can create positive and permanent global transformation for everyone. A world that truly works for everybody. We see that the technology already exists. We see that the resources already exist. The goal now is to bring together the people that share the consciousness for the highest good, people that want a better world for them, for their grandchildren and their grandchildren's grandchildren, to bring these people together and create that. This is what one community is doing. Of course, people ask, well, what is the, what is the biggest challenge that you guys are facing right now? Well, we still are seeking large scale funding. We are an all-volunteer, unpaid organization. Nobody in our organization is paid for what it is that we're doing. So if you or somebody you know would like to donate to our nonprofit organization to help us get the property off the market, or if you'd like to invest in one community, we would like to talk to you. That is the next big step, is purchasing the property so we can share that location, so we can disclose that location, and so we can start open sourcing and free sharing the details that are location specific. In the meantime, our primary focus right now is continuing to do what we our purpose to do. Create those open source, source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions covering all aspects of highest good living. Food, energy, housing, education, for-profit, non-profit business creation, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting all those things together to create a way of life that once we launch it and demonstrate it, we think most people will consider to be a lot better than the way they're living right now. And if they feel that way, and they want to take the time and energy to create that for themselves, we're here to help do that. This is how One Community is facilitating, facilitating global eco-cooperatives. This is how we're functioning right now and how we intend to function indefinitely. So thanks for following our progress. If you'd like to receive uh, an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. Thanks for watching till the end. Thanks for the little donations we get, the $5, the $10, $15, $20 donations. Those things make a big difference because we are all unpaid, but the expense of running an organization like ours is significant. 
uh, just covering our web expenses and all the things associated with web is our primary expenses. So um, all those donations really help. We're grateful for that. Thank you very much. Uh, if you'd like to see the details, specifics, links to all open source content, everything that I've talked about in this video and a whole lot more, visit our written blog. And uh, also, thanks. Thanks for following. Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for sharing our information. Thank you for following us on social media. Thank you for sending us emails. Thank you for participating in whatever way works best for you. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.